Hi, I am Dr. T. Christo Michael, Associate Professor, VIT Chennai Campus. So we are discussing design of transmission system. In that, now we are going to see the relation between the tension in the tight side of a flat belt and the tension in the slack side of the flat belt. So it is an open belt. When you see there are two pulleys, let us consider this as driving pulley. And the prime mover gives power and it is rotating in the anticlockwise. Let us assume. Now, this is going to be T1 and this is going to be T2 and when the pulley rotates, there is coefficient of friction between the belt and the pulley. So, the belt will not allow the pulley to rotate. That means it offers a resistance that friction force at the outside and the effect of this pulley on the belt because of this rotation it pulls it and it is the friction between the two and the direction is like this. So T1 is greater than T2. Let us uh, take frictional force as F. Now, T2 plus F will give you T1. So, it is greater than T2. If you see the same, here in the driven, driven pulley, now the belt is rotating, the pulley will offer resistance, the friction will be opposite on the pulley. And on the belt, it is in this direction. I'm sorry. The pulley will offer resistance to this rotation. This rotation is going to be like this. And this direction is going to be up. And the belt will uh, offer a force onto the pulley which drives the pulley that friction will be in this direction. Having said that, now you have T2 here and T1 here. Since this is greater than T2, we should have the relation between T1 and T2. For that, uh, we take this pulley and let us analyze the force system. Let, let this be in equilibrium condition. So, let us derive the relation between T1 and T2. Take a small segment of the belt and the small differential element, when there is some velocity in the belt, it is with some centrifugal force and that centrifugal differential force is ds and as you see the friction on the belt is in this direction so this is normal component of the friction i mean the force so it is dn and this is the friction force coefficient of friction and the normal force this is the friction force now here the tension is less and keep on the tension is increasing. So T and this is T plus dT. This is the equilibrium condition of the force system acting on the small belt segment. Now if you take this as x direction and this is y direction and let us uh, resolve these forces summation of fx is 0 for the equilibrium so and one more thing the angle subtended by this small segment is d5 so this 
so this theta is d phi by 2 and this theta is d phi, d phi by 2 now fx equal to 0 so this force t cos d phi by 2 t cos d phi by 2 and mu dn minus t plus dt cos d phi by d2 equal to 0. The second equation if y by equal to 0 summation of f y equal to 0. So, we have ds, dn and the vertical components of these two forces. Let us discuss this ds. What is this ds? ds is the centrifugal force. It is nothing but mass into acceleration. Mass here is m. The unit is kg per meter length. So, we have to multiply or d phi. It is nothing but the length of the small segment, bulk segment. This is the length. And the acceleration, when a particle moves on a curved path, the normal component is v square by r. So, this gets cancelled m v square d phi is the ds. So, that we are bringing here m v square d phi then dn plus dn it is opposite direction so minus t sin d phi by 2 minus t plus dt sin d phi by 2 equal to 0 this is 2 now cos d phi by 2 is approximately equal to 1 and sin d phi by 2 is d phi by 2 so substitute that the 1 becomes t plus mu dn minus t plus dt equal to 0 so this t and this t gets cancelled mu dn minus dt equal to 0 now if you keep this dn it's going to be dt by u this is equation 3 so now Let us see this equation mv square d phi plus dn. See this d phi by 2, d phi by 2. So this t and this t adds together. So there are 2 t d phi by 2 and minus dt d psi sorry d phi by 2 equal to 0 this is very small form com, com, I mean, amount so you can leave that you can so now m v square d phi plus dn so you can substitute for dn you can substitute for dn dt by mu uh, minus t d phi equal to 0 so bring this m v square 
minus t d phi equal to dt by mu.